Hello everybody and welcome back to the 18th episode of The Land of Saurus. And uh, today we're going to start off here at Subscriber Forest as per usual, but the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take down all of these signs uh, and I'm going to put them all back up and I'm going to put a number on them because that's uh, getting a little bit tricky to uh, uh, figure out how many trees I've got and correspond that with how many subscribers I've got because some subscribers that I get uh, don't have their accounts sh uh, set to public so I don't know what their names are so I have to put them down as unknown subscribers um, so this is just something that's going to make it a little bit easier for me to manage so I'm going to put all of these tree uh, these these um, numbers on these signs and then I'll see you at the end of that Okay, so I have now numbered all of these trees. We're up to 19, with 19 being an unknown subscriber. But we also have uh, a few more subscribers that we need to add to the forest. So uh, I just need to clear up uh, a little bit more space now. So as you might be able to see, we've had to clear out quite a reasonable amount of space here. Um, there's also a... Uh, a village just up here so um, I don't think we're gonna intercept it by the looks of it but we're gonna get very close and we're probably gonna end up intercepting it um, on the second uh, layer once we get around to that but yeah now I've just got to remove all of this uh, this this stone as well and then we'll be able to add in our new subscribers Okay, and just to let you know that this clip here is a reshoot, uh, because the previous clip that I made for this did uh, die a little bit. However, um, I'd like to give a warm welcome to our latest subscribers. Here they are, uh, number 20 uh, with Hey It's Haku, with a nice big tree right here. Uh, we also have House Flip Channel at number 21. We have Yana Love You 0218 at number 22. We have Turbo Titus at number 23. Lucas Rukasu at number 24. Number 25, we've got Storm Drag 1. And finally, at number 26, we have another unknown subscriber. So if any of these unknown subscribers, if you feel like uh, that it might be you, absolutely feel free to send me a message and I'll come along and I'll update the sign on uh, on your tree. So at the moment, we have two unknown subscribers in, in our forest at the moment. So if you think one of them might be you, just send me a message and I'll get that fixed up for you. Anyway, on with the video. So whilst I was building that space for Subscriber Forest, I totally forgot that I had a, uh, a bad omen buff on me, which means that I am now being uh, raided, which is slightly annoying. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how I'm really. I should figure out a way um, so I don't have to come back into my base or maybe move the base around somewhere so I don't I don't get these impromptu raids all the time because I don't want to be continuously having to fight these guys well after that raid we got a few things we got quite a few totems of undying um, and a few saddles that's about it 15 uh, emeralds so it, it, it was all right I suppose um, Definitely in terms of the uh, totems of undying, but uh, since uh, since I'm out here, I thought I might as well show you guys uh, a few things that uh, I built off camera in the last uh, since the last episode. First of all, I, I rebuilt my uh, uh, my farm here just uh, for growing wheat and stuff, and over here I built a very simple uh, cow farm. So uh, essentially, it's just a bunch of cows in a hole with a, a, a bucket of water at the bottom to keep them afloat and then once they hit their uh, entity cramming limit they they drop all of their items in here and uh, yeah so if I just run along here and feed up these cows you know obviously they'll start breeding and they will start uh, you know, making baby cows, there won't be enough room for the adult cows, so then the adult cows will start dying and uh, will drop the, their leather and beef into the chests down below. So it was a very simple contraption, and I, I just decided that I'd build that one uh, off camera. Um, and as you can see, you know, it's, it's working fairly well. Um, 
obviously the sugarcane farm has been doing uh, fairly okay. Um, I've, I've done a little bit more trading with the villagers since the last episode. And also the one of the bigger things that I did do off camera was uh, I kept on working on my map room down here. That's why I built the, the cow farm because I needed the, the leather to extend out this map a bit. And uh, I don't know what's happened to that top corner there. That's very odd. And the, the the map pieces for them seem to have disappeared. How strange. It might have something to do with the uh, new update, but that, that corner has just completely disappeared. Hold on, what will happen if I save and quit and come back in? Because uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. That corner I definitely managed to do. Um, Alright, well I'm just going to have to redo that section, I guess. Um... But yeah, we, we extended the map out quite a bit, so as you can see, it's coming along quite quite largely, so uh, it, is, it is a very big map that we have going on here. So uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much what we did in the, uh, in the last episode. So anyway, I'm going to fix up that, that section of the map there uh, before I do anything else, otherwise I'll forget, um, and then yeah, I'll continue on from there. So, I popped in here to do a bit of uh, trading with my villagers, since I had that 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 uh, little buff uh, that you get for completing the, the raids, what is it, here of the village, and I found that all of the villagers that I had their trades locked in, and they were in this section here, have uh, completely disappeared. Um, I do still have these villagers outside, but none of them were the villagers that I originally... Uh, had, although some of these guys have not bad trades, like I wouldn't mind that efficiency 4 trade for instance, but yeah, it's a, a little bit surprising, so a couple of strange things have been happening uh, in here, well, they're, they're throwing a bunch of stuff at me, that's very nice of them, um, but yeah, uh, it, it's, it's a bit annoying, because uh, I had a mending villager and a few other guys and stuff like that, but you know, maybe maybe it was about time for me to upgrade my whole villager trading process anyway. So uh, that's something I might have to work on in an upcoming episode. So that's that's a little bit unfortunate that I lost all of those villagers because I had a lot of really good trades on these guys. Um, and as you can see, I'd, I'd gotten myself ready to do uh, a reasonable amount of trading with them. And uh, yeah, they've, they've all just disappeared into thin air. So... Um, yeah, at least we still have some villagers. It's just the ones that had their trades locked that seem to have disappeared. So, yeah, I'll, I'll have to figure out something and, and maybe get some villagers, uh, some new villagers uh, populating this area. Okay, so I went and got those map pieces uh, sorted out. So hopefully, if I've done this correctly, uh, we will have all of our missing map pieces replaced. So that wasn't too much of an issue. Slightly annoying, and I hope it's not something that happens again, especially with the, the, the whole map there as well. That'd be uh, incredibly annoying. But, you know, at the moment, uh, you know, it was only a tiny bit of damage, and uh, yeah, we can keep going on with this map as it is. But uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Uh, the issue is that uh, I've been running this uh, series on the snapshots, and I think probably what I should be doing is waiting for whole updates because those are a lot more stable. So uh, unfortunately, I can't actually revert this world back to a, uh, a previous, like I can't go straight to 1.14, um, so I'll probably have to wait until 1.15 is released and then just ensure that I don't go through any of the 1.15 snapshots. I think that just makes things a little bit more stable. Um, because, yeah, missing villages and pieces of map and stuff like that, it's, it's not very nice. And uh, luckily, those are the only things that have gone wrong so far. But hopefully, uh, hopefully we can uh, avoid further issues like that. So the next thing on the agenda for today is uh, I am extending out our nether tunnel a little bit, our nether highway. I've replaced the stone that we had here with a uh, glass because uh, I think that that's going to look really cool um, if we if we build these these gapped out spaces a little bit with a uh, glass instead. Um, and then uh, yeah, so I'm just bringing this down a thousand blocks, so that'll take us out into the ocean biome. Um, and uh, yeah, then I'll build another nether portal out there, 
and uh, that will uh, take us about a thousand blocks uh, south of zero zero or uh, ultimately two thousand blocks uh, further away from our base so we're gonna keep extending this out until we get to the right place and then we're gonna build uh, our next nether portal room um, for the ocean biome and the reason that I want to head out to the ocean biome is because I'm hoping that we can make ourselves uh, do some stuff with guardians uh, I'd kind of like to make a um, guardian farm or something like that and get a really uh, good quality XP farm happening um, because the one that we've got going on at the moment isn't great and uh, I would like something that is uh, just a little bit more uh, gives a little bit more XP so yeah we're just going to keep extending this out so we're probably going to have a portal room sitting in the middle of this open space out here which is going to look pretty cool it's going to be made out of glass um, so yeah I'm going to get working on that and then uh, yeah we'll see see if we can find any guardian temples uh, around that ocean biome where we where we uh, end up setting up our nether portal okay so I went and uh, ran out of glass for my nether project so I had to go mine a bunch of sand and now I have uh, expanded our furnace system here because uh, I just didn't have enough uh, didn't have enough furnace power going to get all of this glass melted so I whipped up this just quick little system it's it's not perfect by far but it will do. So we now have a much more reasonable quantity of glass to work with um, and I, I have managed to extend this out to the area where we want to start building. It's a little bit tricky making these structures especially out of glass because if you get a gas that comes along these areas at all uh, they, they can tend to make things uh, a little bit challenging However, they cannot see through glass, so once we've got the walls up, um, it's going to be a lot easier to, uh, yeah, we'll be able to see them, but they will not be able to shoot at us. Um, but in terms of actually building this, this room, it's, it's uh, somewhat tricky. But these are going to be the dimensions of the room, uh, very similar to the dimensions that we've got um, to the room at our base, or pretty much exactly the same dimensions. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to continue making this structure. We'll stick the portal somewhere around here at 1, 125. Yeah, so this will be the center block where we'll put our portal. And this should uh, set us up in the ocean uh, at 1,000 blocks south of 00. zero. So we have finished making the tunnel section of this pathway. Um, as you can see as well, we're just using the glass to replace any gaps in the environment, using the, the nether's natural terrain to sort of uh, shape the area. Um, and now I'm just sort of working on here to start making the, the room for the nether portal. So once I get that done, we'll be able to set up our nether portal and uh, check out if there are any uh, guardian temples near the... Uh, ocean biome or where we set up this portal. Okay, so we have made our little glass dome now. So now we need to make our nether portal. So we need to get this area cleared out. Grab our obsidian. And start placing that in. Build up the walls. And finally put in the roof. And we now have our fully constructed nether portal. Now all we need to do... Oh, that's... That's interesting. I think I should probably put those corners in, maybe, um, just to give it a more full look. So I'll just do that now quickly. There we go. And now uh, we just 
light up all of the sections of this portal. I don't understand how that glass sets on fire, but you know, it's Minecraft, it doesn't need to make sense. And off we go through and see if I was correct in the idea that we're going to end up in the ocean somewhere. Although I suspect we'll end up, yep, in a cave because uh, obviously you can't spawn on top of the ocean. And I didn't bring any... T oh, no, I do have some torches. Excellent. You can't spawn on top of the ocean. So that just means that we have to set up this nether portal upstairs now. In fact, now that I think about it, this probably would have been a bit easier if I'd constructed the nether portal up the top first and then tried to go through it. Um, in fact... Yeah, because now I've got to find a way out of this cave system. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll, we'll try and get this uh, this portal uh, connected up easily. Okay, so we have constru constructed our uh, nether portal here in the ocean, which, you know, is exactly a thousand blocks zero, uh, south from zero, zero. So now this should be all connected up with our nether hub. If we hop in here, we should pop out exactly where I was expecting that we would pop out. So we now have a quick and direct way to get down to the ocean here. So now the next thing that I want to do, since that we've got all this set up, is to get myself a boat, maybe a potion of night vision, and just sort of have a quick look around that area and see if we can find ourselves a guardian temple. So I'm going to go get those items and we'll come back and see if we can find one. Okay, so here we are, we've come back here, and we're now just going to go for a little bit of a walk around. What the hell managed to poison me then? Was there a, a husk or something? I have no idea what happened then, that was really bizarre. I wasn't expecting that, but we now have our night vision potion. So now I'm just hoping that if we go for a little bit of a, uh, a boat around the area, we might be able to find uh, some interesting things hopefully uh, a guardian temple that looks like a very big shipwreck down there we'll have to ah hell i might as well just go down and have a look now since we can what do we got in here uh nothing interesting in there uh another buried treasure map we've already got one of those but maybe uh, maybe i should do that one as well and there should be uh, one more, because this is a fairly big one. I'm guessing there's going to be at least one more. Is this the one we just looked in? Yeah. Uh, what about this one? I think it might be this one that we haven't looked in. Yeah, there we go. And we got some emerald, some gold, and some nuggets. Excellent. Okay. But what we're really after is one of those guardian temples. So I'm going to get back in my boat up here, and we're going to have a... A little look around for one of those temples. And here it is. We have found it. We have found ourselves a guardian temple here. Uh, I, I, I popped down here a little bit before just to have a bit of a swim around. I've got the, the mining fatigue happening from that. Um, and yeah, it's, it's everything that we're looking for. It's a proper guardian temple. And uh, we will absolutely be able to find... Uh, a way to be able to turn this into a giant XP farm. That's the plan anyway, that if we can get through here, um, clear out everything that we need to clear out, and just turn it into a giant XP farm, really. Um, this is supposed to be, is there, is there supposed to be treasure in here? Is this how this works? Uh, I'm not really familiar with these ones. I've got mining fatigue, so I'm not going to be able to open it up anyway. But yeah, uh, so now that we know where that is, that's particularly handy, and in fact, I'm going to I'm going to get myself a screenshot of that while I can. And uh, we're going to come back here and we're going to go through this uh, this temple and we're going to kill the guardians and we're going to start working on trying to empty this thing out. So I decided that the best way to finish this episode up would be to potentially complete the map that I have been building for a while because there's not too much left on it to go. Um, the only issue is that I don't have enough iron to make the compasses required to make the maps. So I'm just down here in the mines now collecting the, the required iron that I'll need in order to complete that map, which isn't too much, I don't think. I need about 300-odd iron in total, um, but, you know, I've already got... Um, 
you know, a few stacks of iron already, so I shouldn't be down here for too long. Okay, so I have a bit of iron smelting in here that I've collected up. I also uh, managed to make uh, 32 um, compasses with the iron that I had. I already had 24 maps, so, you know, I wasn't doing too bad on the resources front. I thought this was going to take a lot longer than it has. But how many maps can we get up to? We've got 56, and uh, we need 102 maps in total to uh, to clear or to fully complete the, the map that we've got sitting downstairs. So, yeah, I'll let all that uh, iron smelt up, and we'll see if we can get ourselves over that line so we can make ourselves enough map pieces to go and explore the rest of that area. Okay, and now I believe I have all the resources required for us to get our 102 maps, and I pretty sure that that's 102 right there so I am going to get started on uh, getting these these maps together now so in order to do that uh, what I've been doing lately um, well, what I did in order to make all those ones work was I put everything away uh, except for a couple of items uh, that was the bed, my bed, and some food. And that's all I take with me. And then on top of that, I take 34 maps. And that is the most amount of maps that I can carry. But it also, uh, funnily enough, is the amount of maps required to fill in two full rows. So one there and one there. So using this tactic I should be able to do this in three trips uh, alone. So I'm going to get started on that and I'll keep you guys updated uh, on how that turns out. So our next time uh, trying to map out this area along here is going to be interesting because we're going to be over in that direction somewhat. So uh, we're gonna have to climb all over this, and this—that's th just full on a floating island over there with the uh, with some trees and everything. That's amazing. All right, well, it's gonna it's gonna be fun trying to map all this out uh, the next the next time we run through here. But it looks like we've just missed the uh, the the that well we've just hit the outskirts of it instead. But this is a cool looking biome. It is such a cool looking place. I'm really looking forward to exploring it somewhat. Jeez, yeah, look at that. That's really awesome. Wow. In fact, I'm going to have that as my thumbnail, I think. Let's get a look here. Yeah, that looks nice. With the creeper down in the bottom there, that's going to look awesome. Alright, well, just keep map making, I guess, and uh, we'll have to do across that bridge when we get to it. Okay, so I've just gotten ourselves ready. I've gotten all of the item frames that we're going to need to try and fill this thing up placed in. We uh, have this row ready to go. All we need to do is place those in. And we have uh, this row ready to go. Um, but I'm going to wait until I get um, get all of the, the map pieces done. So I need to still fill up uh, four of these chests and get the, these other two, four rows sorted out. And then we can finally look at completing this map. So, I have to say, uh, trying to travel through this biome has been somewhat challenging, but we are steadily getting through it. Um, am I ready for another one? Yeah, if I go down here a little bit more, and then I should be able to make another one. But yeah, this is uh, this is quite an interesting biome. Look at that. I've just, yeah, it's, it's very uh, cool generation, I think. Yeah, this place is looking really cool. I really like this place. Although I have to say, I wish my, my uh, computer was a little bit better so it could generate that area over there. But this is a very, very cool place. I like it a lot. Whoa. Okay, so we now have another two rows uh, in and ready to go. Hold on, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's that row ready to go. And then this row we do backwards because we're coming from a southerly direction upwards. So now we have all the maps that we need for these two rows. 
So we just need to get this last row done on either side and we will be ready to start placing in these map pieces. I'm going to say it again, this biome is so cool. Look at that, floating trees. Oh, I love it. Okay, so we now have all of the map pieces in here. We've uh, gotten all the ones for this row as well and this far row over here. So now the idea is uh, quite simply that we uh, put them all in. I don't know why that says unknown map. Okay, so once once you put it in, it seems to suddenly know what it is. So that's, that's good to know. Well, anyway, I'm going to start uh, putting all of this together and uh, we'll see uh, if uh, it all fits nice and well for us. I, I really hope that it does. There it is. Let's clear out these chests and these torches. And we'll run over here. And there it is. Our completed 1,000 block by 1,000, well, it's actually 1,028 by 1,028 blocks. Uh, actually, a little bit more than that, I think. Um, and it is a 17 by 17 map. So that is a very big map indeed. And you can see all these villages dotted around. So I am very happy with this. This has been a very large work in progress, but we have finally managed to get this map completed. So I'm super happy about that. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, that is all I'll have time for for this episode. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. And of course, if you want to see more videos, uh, feel free to leave a like and uh, subscribe. That really helps me out. And uh, thank you so much for supporting the channel so far. But yeah, that's all I have time for. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye-bye.